every day just try to remind them that we got a job to do and um, to enjoy it while you can. So uh, I feel like the D-line's ready to go. D-line's excited. Um, we'll just try to keep guys grounded. I know that Everett Woodridge is still around. Um, coaching you guys, there's a little extra pep in the step. You know, excited to, you know, take on a head coaching position. I mean, have you noticed a difference with him? Uh, not really. He's just Coach Withers. He's always been fun, always uh, had energy and everything like that. So I haven't noticed anything significant. Uh, it's important. It's very important to win this game. I think, personally, um, because uh, I was telling someone else, people didn't really take our 12 wins seriously. They thought that we beat 12 really bad teams, and um, then lost. We were obviously going to lose because we played a good team, and I mean that kind of grinds at you a little bit. That pisses me off. But we have another chance to play a really good team, so it's just another chance to prove ourselves and to show that. We do belong at the top of college football. How much does that propel a team uh, success in a, in a postseason game like this to, to being back on track for, for next year and be in the same discussion? I'd say I'd say a lot. Uh, just to give us some confidence going into next season. Um, if we lock down the receivers, it'll give uh, young DB some confidence. D-line, since the entire D-line's coming back, if we keep getting better as a defensive line, then that'll definitely give us confidence going into next year. Not that you're thinking this way, but if you, if you don't win this game, how will you look? Yeah. Could have done better. That's about it. Just could have done better. Michael, we got a question from uh, John from Ohio on Google. John, what's your question? It feels great. Um, we, like you said, part of the program struggles we've been going, we've been bouncing back and forth with coaches ever since I've been here. So um, it feels good to have not just going to the Orange Bowl, but to have some continuity in the program and to know that we've got a coach who's going to be here for a while and who knows what he's not knows what he's doing, but who's got a set plan and uh, and he's going to stick to it. So and then to his second year here to get to the Orange Bowl, I'd say that means that means a ton because uh, it shows that. He's got a plan that works, and we just have to follow it and not diverge. Does that have a lot to do with your senior leadership? Uh, yeah. I mean, you can't – no matter what the coach says, if we don't have leadership, then it's nothing. It doesn't matter. Guys will just do whatever they want. Uh, so the, the seniors bought into the, what Coach Meyer was, was preaching, and the younger guys will see that, and then they start doing what the seniors do. If you've got seniors who just do whatever they want and, and don't really listen to the coaches, then that's what the younger guys will see, and that's what they'll do. What have you seen the extra practice so far? Who have you seen that's kind of stuck up the game? Um, the DBs, I'd say as a whole. Uh, usually um, in practice, they might not be batting all the balls down or might not be getting very many interceptions or just letting the scout team receivers catch the ball. But uh, what I've seen in the bowl practices is they're not letting the scout team catch the ball as much. Um, they're making an effort to get interceptions rather than just knock the ball down. And uh, so that's good to see. Um, I don't say, I don't know any particular guy that's I don't know maybe Chris Carter. Chris Carter's been doing really well near the end of the season, so he'll get a chance this game to to get in there a good amount of plays, and we'll see how he can do.